Sunday in school, and she said, I can't get my students into the library. So make sure from the middle of the field over, you zoom in. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for day two of the 2023 Lynn City Soccer Tournament. The boys settled theirs. St. Mary's will be taking on Lynn Tech. English will be playing classical in the Constellation. And the girls will be battling today to see who gets uh, in the final and the consolation. This is Lintech in the blue, Lynn English in the white. And I apologize up front, uh, Jeff Newhall, who is going to be in the final election for the Ward 1 Council, and I'm happy for that. I wrote a letter in support of him. He's an outstanding gentleman. He is bringing the rosters, and he was stuck at school because they closed the school down for a while because, unfortunately, once again, there were my understanding is there were gunshots around somewhere in the area, and they shut the school down. So he's... I guess he's virtually on his way. So we do not have rosters. I do not have any names. And we'll do the best we can until they get here. A little feeling out period by both teams. First game for everybody. English pushing it up. Tex just kicks it out, but they were looking to kick it out of play. They kicked it past the end line, and English is going to get a penalty kick, a, a corner kick, I should say, not a penalty kick. It's a very hot day here. So back and forth we go, and now it gets kicked out by English. So Channel 15 is back on track. We've been down for a while as far as high school sports are concerned, baseball and softball. We did a couple of Little League, a couple of Babe Ruth during the summer, but for all intents and purposes, we were through just about in May. And now, as always happens, the first part, the first high school sport that gets us going is the Lynn City Tournament, which is the first event every year. English Classical Tech and St. Mary's kicking off boys and girls. They play this being Wednesday. They'll have a full day Saturday where they'll have consolation and championship rounds starting at 9 o'clock. So another big reason to win this game because you don't want to have to get up at 9 o'clock. The loser of this and the next game, St. Mary's in Glasgow, will have to play at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. But again, it's high 80s, which means it's 
probably well into the 90s down on the turf, down on the field. Probably easy for these young ladies. You can make a lot of substitutions and drink a lot of water. And it goes out, off tech. Yeah, it goes out off English. Tech gets a throw in down deep. Trying to walk in, trying to center it, lost it. Tech gets it back. English knocks it away, gets it out of harm's way. They punch it through. The goaltender come out to kick it away as he missed by it, almost gave it away. And it wound up going out off Tech. English got a huge break. The goaltender came out to get it. She misfired. Tech had a chance to knock it home. And they knocked it wide of the near post and out of play. So Tech almost got on the board thanks to a misplay by English. Tech blocked. They get it back. Shot comes up. Wide left, another solid shot that just missed. Tech kind of dominating a little bit, territorial-wise. English finally gets it out of their end. And Tech knocks it right back. from long range gets blocked before it gets to the goalie. English controls. Tech takes it away. English gets it back. Down the far side. Tech knocks it out. English will get the throw in down deep. They haven't been down this end too long. And they're not down that end again. Tech takes it away. English picks off the pass. Tech does the same. They get it to the middle. And long range shot blocked by the defense. He's dropped it off. There was nobody there, but English wound up getting it. Tech picks off the pass, and they keep it again, where it's been most of this first half in the English end. English lost it. Tech takes it away. Skips past everybody. Tech drills it long again. Tipped up. And he couldn't control it. It took a bad hop. They were looking to just take a shot, and he couldn't shoot it because it was bouncing badly. And it winds up on the far side. From long range. Goalie didn't bother. She could have caught it. She kind of blocked it with her knees and kept it alive. Shot. Nice shot again. This one on that. Goalie makes the save.
take a Nike bet. Uh-huh. So, well, let's see. Bengals right here. Who's still playing this? around and he lays off the camera and you know uh, and he just when he walked away it was the other kid that had to tell me that he has to leave I said he didn't tell me and, and what happens I said if something happens to the cameraman now if he gets a call from home or if he gets a headache or he can just has to go to the bathroom you know we don't have anybody to step in and you know and we have to shut it down Okay, all right, I'll talk to you. Still nothing doing. Tech has dominated field position-wise, but they got one good shot on net. Save was made, and they just kept the pressure on. English keeping it. In the English end, it's one of the few times that English gets it out and it's taken away. They fanned on that kick upfield. And Tech will take it down the far side. Trying to walk in and finally get knocked away. She beat three defenders but couldn't beat the fourth. Tech knocks it out at midfield. Uh, right back in the English end. Off a tech foot. Looking to walk in. Nice save by the goaltender yet again. And another nice save. That was ticketed for the far post. And she came out and made a tremendous save. And then the second shot might have gone off the side of the net, but might have gone in. And she made that save as well. Tech will get the corner kick, but English will gladly give him that as opposed to the goal they could have had. And again, I apologize for not having any names whatsoever because the Rosses have not shown up at Main Field as yet due to that incident down around the St. Mary's area. Jeff Newhall was supposed to be bringing shot, another save. They, they knocked that shot right in the midsection of the goaltender. I'm not sure why they do that. The officials just drop the ball like, like a face-off in hockey. I, I thought they just line it up and the goalie would kick it out, but he, but she had to kick, a bouncing ball. I don't know what, how that came into effect. And we got Tech with a knockdown, and he just will get the free kick.
I just found out that he was co founder of Gracie Malloy. Well, Gracie Malloy is keeping in his inness. Here comes Tech. He was able to clear it away. Cutting it back to the middle. He got knocked away the shot from long range. In the net. It bounced around. Everybody said, let me get it, let me get it. No, I'll get it. And she ripped it into the net. And Tech, with all that pressure, those shots on net, finally get a goal. We're giving that goal to Rose Mendez. She had another shot that the goaltender Malloy made a tremendous save on. It was, ball was bouncing around. There were a couple of tech players and an English player trying to get control. And Mendez just stepped in and said, I'll take it. And she drilled it. She's a ninth grader. Tech breaks the ice. English is still looking for their first shot on net. Ilibet Rodriguez is in net, I believe, for Lynn Tech. So with Tech leading it one to nothing, teams will go to the sideline and get a little bit breather in this hot afternoon. One nothing Tech here in the first half. They come out of the timeout with Tech leading it one to nothing here in the first half. They've dominated possession and territorial wise. English has not got anything going at all. And I'm looking at Tech, they have Two senior goaltenders, one is Emily De Jesus and Elibet Rodriguez is the other. And obviously wearing different jersey numbers, they don't have a number on their shirt. Tech trying to walk in, they take the shot and they score. It bounced right through the wickets.
Hard shot coming from the left side, just snuck inside the near post. And that was Rose Mendez again, the ninth grader. She's got both goals, and she also had another shot that Malloy, the goaltender, took away. And Tech was right back at it. Get around the defense. Another shot. It goes wide. I don't, I don't know if English touched it or it bounced. There was an English defender there. If it, it went off her, so Tech is going to get a corner kick from the near side. Halfway through this first half, Tech with their ninth grader doing the damage. English boots it away from out in front. And English boots it away again. Tech picks it off, and Tech knocks it out. It went out off Marion Rodriguez. Tech has five ninth graders and an eighth grader on their roster. We welcome everybody back to school. Tipping it by, looking to go get it. Almost made a play. Jimmy Nolasco pushed it by everybody, but pushed it a little too far. She couldn't go get it. English cleared it away. Substitution for English. We've gone this far without mentioning the coaches. J.D. Perry, the head guy for Lynn Tech, ably helped by Jocelyn Guzman and Kim Eldred. Coach Abby Driscoll in charge of the girls at English. Assistant coaches Madison Malaya and Rachel Callan. Madison Malaya and Rachel Callan were part of that coaching staff with Ashley Aldred, who brought English back from a time they had no English with a great rush, knocked it home, beating the defense getting by everybody, and knocking it home. Raya Fowler with that great rush. We finally got her number with her long hair hanging down, cut blocking her number. We finally got her number. Mariah Fowler gets English back in the game, gets their first goal of the season. And it makes it two to one. 
makes that hole a little less deep for the Lady Bulldogs. But I mentioned that Soler, Rachel Cain, Callum with <coughs> Ashley Aldred. They brought English all the way back. It was <coughs> they made the state tournament this year in softball for the first time in 20 years. They did a great job. They battled all the way back. They had to win the last game of the season. They were leading. They fell behind. Late in the game, they scored to take the lead back, and they beat Swampskit in the consolation rounds of the Holland Tournament. And that got them into the state tournament. Something, as I mentioned, something hasn't happened in 20 years. Trying to line up a shot, English will clear it away. And English gets in and knocks it upfield. Naomi Lopez is waiting for the ball. She could run over. English will get the free kick. Jasmine Ampudia will take it. Now she's not going to take it. It'll be Mariah Fowler. Popped up. He hasn't been down here that often. When they have, Tech is taken away and brought it back upfield almost immediately. And they do it again. They'll get the throwing. Long lead pass, Tech out in front. Try to center it. Malloy will come out and field it. Hold on to it. And she'll kick it away. English with a rush. To the near side. Kicking it deep. Nobody's there. And Rodriguez will let it go out of play. It's amazing how they give the goaltenders numbers, but they don't put numbers on their shirts. They have to have different uniforms than the players. I understand that. But they could put a number on it so you know who they are. Fowler knocks it deep. Tech has a shot blocked. Blocks it, takes it away, English gets it back. They get it to Ampudia. Her pass blocked, taken away, cleared up field. And a break for Tech. They got three on one. Walking up, they center it. And they couldn't get a piece of it. And it goes out of play. The goaltender, Malloy, came out to try and get it. They threw it across. They were wide open in front, but it bounced over. English got another break. And then everybody trying to get a piece of it. The goaltender, attack player, an English defender. It wound up getting knocked out by English. Tech will get another corner kick.
goes by everybody. Tech trying to collect. Knocked away, tech collects. Tech trying to walk in. Looking to get around, blocked nicely by the English defense. Cleared up field. And Booyah with it. Fowler knocks it by. Nobody there to get it though. And Tech knocks it loose. English has got it down the Tech end. Blocked out in front. Tech blocked it, put it right on the foot of English, but they couldn't get the shot off. And Tech clears it away. Ten minutes and counting left in this first half. Two to one Tech. The winner will play for the championship of the 2023 City Tournament as both teams make substitutions on this very hot day. English had that one trip where Fowler beat everybody and walked in from long range, knocked it past Rodriguez into the far corner, get English on the board after Tech had scored two. But English, that's their only shot on net. They haven't come close since then. And now, I think it was English that got a hand on it. It popped up and they went to block it and they blocked it with their hand. And Tech will get the free kick. Big bounce, Tech collects. Bouncing ball. English got a foot on it, Tech took it away. Out in front with the shot. I don't know if they called him outside because Malloy got a piece of, the, of the, the ball, didn't catch it, it went off her out of play. I don't know if they blew the whistle when she caught it. But Malloy gets to kick it away. I'm not sure what that call was. English just kicks it out of play. English will make a substitution. Shot blocked. English trying to clear it. They can't. Malloy will grab it at the side of the net. And when she grabbed it, it was out of play and it'll get out off. English will tech will get another corner kick. Malloy was getting set to kick it upfield. Kick goes out of play. I thought it looked like it went over the line. Tech kept it alive, kicking it upfield. Blocked. Paddling. Tech took it away. That was Marilyn Rodriguez. Rodriguez gets it again.
a tip in the head, but there was nobody running to get the ball. Normally, you sprint together. The player to the near side who was looking to get the pass just stayed behind and watched. And the pass just laid there. They tip it ahead. Tech will get there first. Trying to center it. Blocked nicely by English. English clears it away. Five minutes and counting left in his first half. Two to one Tech. On two goals by the ninth grader, Rose Mendez. Going to walk in, push it a little too far. Rodriguez pushed it between two defenders when she went to go get it. She couldn't get it, and now they call a takedown. Could this be a penalty kick? They took her down in the end zone. I think Tech is going to get a penalty kick. Angela Reyes is going to take the penalty kick. And she missed the net. She put her hand on her head. She can't believe it. She faked going to the far post, trying to stick it in the inside post, and she just pushed it past wide and out of play. So a golden opportunity for Tech to get their two-goal lead back goes by the boards. And English will get to kick it away. They give it right away. The shot hit the post. It went off the post. They gave it away. And Tech walked right in, took the shot. It went by Malloy, and it hit the post. We think that was Melvin Rodriguez who took that shot that hit the post. It was actually Cindy Ali de Leon, another ninth grader, who ripped that shot that got it by Malloy, but it hit the post. And we're in the final two minutes, and the clock will now be kept by the officials down on the field. Two to one tech.
English had one trip, and that was Mariah, Mariah Fowler who beat the defense and got loose for a shot right around the 10 yard line and beat the goaltender to get English on the board after Tech had scored two. They blow the whistle to end the first half, and that's the way it'll end. It's Lynn Tech leading English at halftime, two to one. We start the second half and we had to make a big correction. We didn't see correct. We told you it's very difficult, especially if the shots are coming from the far side, to see who scores the goal. We gave both goals to Rose Mendez, the ninth grader. I'm sure she was happy we did. But both goals were scored by Angela Reyes. Who was a senior. We were correct with Rodriguez, the goaltender, even though they have three and two of the machines. Heck, right back at it in the English end. And it's going to go out of play. I don't know if English. So we miss again the winner of this will take on the winner of the next game, St. Mary's and Glasgow, in the championship round. And unfortunately, the loser of this game and the loser of the next game will have to play Saturday morning at 9 o'clock because Saturday. Here at Manning Field is going to be standing room only. Four soccer games starting at 9 o'clock and then two football games starting at 5 o'clock. Annette Ramirez throws it in play. Trying to center it off a foot. They throw it out in front. English tipped it. And it actually goes out. I think Tech is going to get another corner kick. They, tip, they tipped it wider than that. Malloy couldn't grab it. It went out. And the kick will come from the near side. Ooh, ground ball picked off by English easily. And they clear it away. Tech knocks it back. Popped up. Loose. Tech trying to control. Shot gets blocked by English and Tech will get another corner kick. This one coming from the far side. English had that one breakaway by Mariah Fowler who from around the 10 yard line, drilled it inside the far post coming from the right, the far side, drilling it inside the near post. And that made it two to one tech. That English's goal coming late in the first half. And that's the only shot they have on net. They haven't come really close. They haven't had the ball in tech territory very often are certainly not for very long. They line drive it, and it never got to the net. It went behind and hit the net behind. She hooked it way wide right. English will kick it away.
Tech Collects. I feel English hasn't knocked away. Loose. And once again, Tech has it as English knocks it out. So the ball hasn't been virtually beyond the 50 yard line on the English side any time during this second half. And it gets knocked into the Tech bench area. Knocked down by the coach, J.D. Perry. English just tipping it away. Looks like English is just content to get it away. Not really get it upfield and not really get any offense going. Just try and get it away from their end, which they haven't been able to do. A kick pops up. Malloy will play it on a hop. And Tech just content to keep it in the English end. And it gets out off Tech. Loose. Tech controls again. English just kicks it away with a kick it right to Tech. Tech out in front, trying to line up the shot, got possibly blocked. Blocked again. It goes out. Uh, Tech's going to get another corner kick. I think if I retire from what I'm doing, I'm going to become a soccer official. I'm watching the guy to the near side. The kick is coming from the goal line. He's at the 45-yard line of English, not the 45-yard line of Tech. I'm uh, sorry, it's the 45-yard line of Tech. He is not in the same time zone that the game is being played in. He's just standing. He could have bought a ticket. He hasn't moved in a very long time. And being a former umpire, I hate to get on officials, but one official is right on the goal line. The other official is standing right 55 yards away from anybody. And he hasn't moved a muscle in quite a while. He finally takes a couple of steps. With his back to the play, he's not even watching the play now. And this is what happens when you don't have enough people to referee these games. It's not really fair to the kids.
So now the play is down at the five-yard line as the ball gets kicked out of play, and he's standing at attention at the 35-yard line. That's 65 yards away. And now reluctantly, he's walking down. Maybe he heard me. He's trying to get in the same time zone. He's actually only 40 yards away. Substitution for Lintec. I hate to do that, but if you're getting paid to do a job, then you should do the job. It's only fair to the kids. Somebody got a hand on that would-be kick. Maybe she'll get to kick it away. He was finally kicked it and got it into the tech end. I think it's the first time the ball <laughs> crossed the 50 yard line in this second half. Substitutions for both teams. Again, it's very hot down there. Hot up here, so it's even hotter down the turf. Heck, picks off the throw in, and he knocks it right back into the English end. Pop straight up in the air. Picked off by Tech. Molly Perez has been playing very well in the middle for English, breaking up plays. Off tech. He just wanted a chance to get it back into tech ter territory for the first time in a while. Only the, I think it's only the second time in this second half. And that went off English into the English bench area. Tech. So when out in the English bench area, Tech was looking to take the ball. <laughs> and, and even now, they're getting it at midfield. That's a gift, too. They moved about 10 yards upfield. They kick it deep. English looking for a break. They knock it forward. That's the deepest penetration. That was Brianna Ortega looking to go get it, and the defense for Tech knocked it out. And English will get a throw in down deep. They haven't been this deep in a very long time.
Peck knocking it deep. English gets their first, knocks it out of play. Good hustle by Angela Martinez. She got there before De Leon did. Knocked away. Off the side of the foot of Daisy Lopez. English collects. They kick it five, but there's nobody there to go get it. And that was Annette Ramirez kicking it away. Substitutions for both teams. Clears it up. Off the back foot of Mendez. And we got a whistle. Also was contact or hit somebody in the hand. Keck will get the kick. They brewed it deep. He was going to head on it. Peck keeping it in. And it gets kicked out. I think it was Ampudia who knocked it out. And they're calling, no, they're calling it off Tech. Oh, English will kick it away as they make a substitution. Grimish out in front. Gets knocked out of play. We got Classical and St. Mary's warming up in the, in the end zones of both ends, getting ready to play the next game. play. Blocked nicely by Reyes. Kept in by De Leon. English took it away. De Leon 
going again. Trying to drop it back. Wound up on the foot of Ortega. Ortega couldn't keep it in. She tried. Halfway through and counting. This second half. Two to one tech, all the scoring in the first half. As Malloy comes out, plays it on a couple of hops and kicks it away. Ray is trying to walk around, still with it. Takes the shot off the side of the foot and it never got to the net. It just sliced off to the right and out of play. So as we get past the halfway mark, they give the young ladies a break in all this heat. We got a timeout with Tech leading Lynn English two to one. We come out of the timeout. English will kick it away. English needs a goal to get back in it. As we just passed the halfway mark of the second half. But they haven't, they got deep with a throw in in this second half and Tech took it away immediately and took it back upfield. And they really haven't been in the Tech end hardly at all in this second half. And the only shot on goal they had was the goal by Mariah Fowler. That got them back within two to one. They've been just fighting off Tech out in front of their own net. As Tech knocks it into, excuse me, English knocks it into the Tech bench area. They center it, but there's nobody there. English clears it away. Breaks it up again. Nice job again by Molly Perez to break that play up. Boy will come and get it. English almost had a break. Tech knocks it right back to the English end. And we're going to get Tech for a little cross body block. A little banging going on. Fowler will take the kick. Takes it away. And they knock it deep once again to the English end. English band trying to clear it. And then English block the pass. And Tech takes it away. English blocks it again. Tech gets it back. Down the near side, Tech with it. They take the shot to a tough angle. Boy made the easy save. I think that was Mendez with the left foot from a tough angle. And Boy just held the post and made the save. And English will kick it away. Trying to kick it up field. It got blocked and then I think Glasgow I think then got their hand on the ball. 
Okay, Fowler will get to kick it away. Fifteen minutes in counting left in this one with Tech holding on to that skinny one goal lead. Knocked out. Off English. English looking for a break. They pushed it by, but the defense is there to clear it away. Hustling down the near side, De Leon. Centering it. Tech is there to take the shot. And they knock it home. Centering pass. Tech has got their two goal lead back. We've been trying to find out zeroing in on the goal. We'll get the goal, but we can't pick up a number because she's got that long hair that goes halfway down her back and blocks her number. She's one of the ones that has a different color shirt. She has a, a blue shirt. It's hard enough to pick up the numbers when they're far away. And it's even harder when they have that long hair that goes most of the way down their back. Jack left it right there, but English couldn't pick it up.
We got everybody up here trying to find the number of the young lady. And that hairdo is blocking everything. Just a little tap. I think that was De Leon. Her hair almost blew away enough to get the number, but then she turned away from us, so we couldn't. Angie Niz is getting credit with the goal. Great save. <laughs> they had the ball. They had the ball right in front of an open net. They bobbled the shot, and then they just kind of touched it, and Malloy made a great save. She reached over and, and pinned the ball against the near post. And Melissa Garcia would have got her first goal. She's a ninth grader. And Malloy took it away. So with just under 10 minutes left in this one, they take another break. Tech got their two-goal lead back on that goal by Angie Niz, the only goal here in the second half. And with the timeout, it's Tech 3, Lynn English 1. Put it back on it as English will kick it away after the timeout. Williams gave themselves some breathing room with that goal by Angie Niz. It took us a long time to find out who Angie Niz was or is. She's a sophomore. Tech has got a couple of players with a lighter blue uniform. We got a takedown by Tech. English will get a free kick. Paulo will take it from right around the 30-yard line. Just inside the 30 from a tough angle. Trying to pooch it home. Got a foot on it, but flipped it away from the net rather than at the net. And Tech clears it away. And Tech takes it away. And they bring it back. English in. Trying to sneak by, English got a foot on it, knocked it away. Good defense. That was in Pudia with that nice defensive play by English. And actually, it was Hannah Claffey. Now that I see again, her long hair down the back. De Leon was offside.
Hack again. On the move. Catch it. Looking to walk in, taking the shot. Malloy couldn't get a lot on it. That was Perez again, bearing down on the would-be shooter, who looked like she was all by herself, then had to take it quickly and an easy save for Malloy. And here comes De Leon. Still with it. Now sneaking up from behind. I think that was Matthias. Matthias coming in from behind and knocking it away. Might have been Perez again. Yeah, it was Matthias. Foul is ganged up on. And Tech knocks it out. We're down in the final five minutes. The final five minutes will be kept on the field by the officials. I, I don't know why they changed that. In the first half, the clock runs right until there's two minutes left. So you can say, okay, there's two minutes left, and you can kind of judge what's going on. For some reason, they changed it in the second half, so they shut the clock off with five minutes left and let the officials keep the time. Play it down. Cooper? Are you doing the scoreboard? Let's hope the young lady's going to be okay. Back to soccer. We hope the young lady's okay. As we're winding this one down, it's going to be Lynn Tech taking on either St. Mary's or Classical in the championship final. And right now it looks like England's gonna have to get up very early on Saturday morning and play at nine o'clock. The one shot they have on net is a goal scored by Fowler that made it two to one. Follow loses it out of play. Heck again, trying to walk in, blocked. And they blew the whistle. I don't know if they called him offside. Talk about blocked, I might have hit. The tech player in the hand. Not a lot of time left in this one. I see the official looking at his watch. Power gets broken up. They blow the whistle and that'll do it. So it'll be Tech moving on to the championship final. English will be in the consolation game. It was Angela Reyes getting Tech 
on the board after they dominated the time of possession and territorial wise, she got her second goal in the first half to make it two nothing tech. Mariah Fowler with a breakaway walked in and beat the goaltender to make it two to one. It stayed that way for a long time in the second half until Angie Niz finally got loose out in front and banged it home and made it three to one and that was the final score. So it's Reyes with two, Niz with one, Fowler gets the one goal for Lynn English. Element Rodriguez had a fairly easy time. The only shot on goal English had was the goal by Fowler on, on that breakaway. Otherwise, the ball was in the English end of the field uh, just about 95% of the time, and they just couldn't get any shots on net. So it will be English in the constellation round taking on either St. Mary's or Classical coming up this next game, and it will be... Lynn Tech, both the boys and the girls, uh, will be playing in the state final. It'll be Tech, tech taking on either St. Mary's or Classical, uh, whoever wins this next game. So on two goals by An Angela Reyes, one goal by Angie Niz, offsets the one goal by Mariah Fowler, and Tech is a 3-1 to one winner in the opening round of the 2023 City Soccer Tournament. Three to one, the final score, Tech over Lynn English. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.